Retro here, and um, yesterday we went to this game store. Um, they they had some decent stuff. We died a couple games. Yeah, I was uh, a little surprised. I thought they would have a lot more NES. They had a decent selection of Game Boy stuff. Uh, they had tons of Super Nintendo. They had tons of Sega Genesis stuff. Even some Master System stuff. And they actually had an Odyssey 3 3000. Magnavox Odyssey. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Call of 3000. Yeah. Um, which is really cool. It didn't look like it had the controllers there, though, but I think they integrated it into the side, so we didn't look at it too much. We were kind of on a time mm -hmm. crunch. Parking was crazy. All the snow is melting here, so as the parking lot opens up, people are parking in places, and you can't really tell where to get out, so you'll be stuck in an aisle because there's a giant mound of snow there. So we made it out alive, and... Uh, well, I guess we'll just start going through the games here. Uh -huh. um, so the first one is Tiger Heli. I played uh, all these. They were pretty good. Um, there was only one or two of them that I wasn't really happy with. And these are all pretty cheap games. We didn't get anything substantial. I did see Altered Beast for Genesis. We should have got that, but we didn't. Um, but this one's pretty cool. Uh, so good NES little cart here. Next one. Did we talk about Sonic 2? Did we... I don't know, we got, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 last week or a week ago. Yeah, I'm, so, not, I'm not sure if we recorded that. Yeah, we'll have to go back and check that one. Um, next is um, really good, so now me and my dad can play two-player Sonic without Sonic 2. Um, did we get that? Yeah, well we got a couple other games the other day, I don't remember if we recorded it or not. Um, so here, this one's Captain Skyhawk, which I didn't realize that Milton Bradley made NES games. Milton Bradley's big on board games when I was young. I guess mm -hmm. they still are probably. So they made a lot of good board games. But this one's kind of cool. Um, I like the way this one flies. It's kind of like, a, you know, you're, you're flying along. You can go up and down, left and right. This one had a really good gameplay, so I can't wait to play this one. Uh, Silent Service. This one, I don't know why. This must be, like, the most popular game the NES made because every game store I ever go to has, mm -hmm. like, 20 of these. So we have a copy now. And it was, you know, good condition cart. Maybe they're, um, they're just very bad and they made a lot of them. Yeah, it's not all that great of a game after playing it. Op Operation Wolf. Yeah, this one has the, you know, somebody tried to take a sticker off. You can see down here it says Void. Um, and they ripped the label a little bit. But uh, I played this one for a little bit. It's okay. It's pretty good. Interesting. Let's see here. What is this? Sky Shark. This one has good graphics on the front, I think. I want you to zoom in a little bit closer there. This one's okay. Um, decent little game. Thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing too special about it. Uh, let's see here. Iron Tank. Mm -hmm. This is this is an SNK one. Looks a little bit similar to the Milton Bradley label. La uh, label. Uh, this one's okay. It's kind of weird when you first start driving around. You can shoot everybody, but mm -hmm. there's no tanks or anything like that. It's just like bad guys, and you end up running over them instead of shooting them. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. It was kind of fun, though, when I was playing it. This one was really cool. I think you're going to like this one. He hasn't played any of these games yet. Um, his... I, I've just been um, nodding yes because it seemed awesome. Yeah, he uh, his computer wasn't working this week, so I, can't, I had to come back and uh, fix his computer. And uh, So he's been playing nothing but Minecraft the last two days, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Abadox, I think it's pronounced. And this one's kind of cool. You're like a, a little jet man with a jet pack or something like that. And you're flying around and you're like shooting eye giant eyeballs and stuff like that. Oh. And you get like little power-ups when you just kill special characters. This one, uh, the front cover has got some odd damage to it. It's just kind of discolored. You know, and it's another one that has a label ripped off at the bottom. Another Milton Bradley game. So many Milton Bradleys, although I don't know who they are. <laughs> This one is Super Strike V-Ball, which this one, I cleaned all these because uh, I started realizing, you know, I, I come home and I test them, and it's probably not a good practice to just go jamming the cartridge into your game, and this one is an excellent reason, or jamming the cartridge into your NES, and this is a good reason why, is because this one had like a weird bubbling effect. I don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can zoom in here. It had a weird bubbling effect on the front. I've never seen that before. I didn't know what it was, and I opened it up, and it looked like somebody had spilled pop or something in there years ago, and then the, maybe it was sitting on top, you know, on top of their TV or something, and it heated up, and that's probably what these bubbles are. But there was pop corroded all up inside this thing. It was horrible. But I actually got the pins nice and clean, so that was good. Um, played it. I actually played this when I was younger, I remember. It was pretty fun. 
we have we play volleyball a lot here uh, in the summertime, so volleyball's fun. Um, this term, th this term's from the, our um, uh, or uh, what are this is called? Plug and plays. Like it's the same company, like with that rainbow. Like, oh, L N J. Yeah. Or L J N. What is it? L J N. I think. Yeah, L J N. Um, they're like notorious for making a lot of taking a lot of. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> taking a lot of uh, movies uh, back in the day, and then they would turn them into games, and they had a couple stinkers, ones that weren't very good, so a lot of people don't like LJN gigs. But this one kind of goes with our collection of people that write on games. I don't know if you can see it. I started cleaning it off a little bit. I think I need a magic eraser to get this stuff off because uh, alcohol wasn't working. But thank you to John Jr. and Mesmer's 29 Dorchester Avenue, Geneva, New York. Thanks for writing on this copy of Official License Major League Baseball. It wasn't a very good game. It took me forever just to get through the menus and stuff. So that was it for the NES games that we got. And I actually, so I went into one Goodwill this week, and uh, they had a ton of 3DS games sitting there, sealed in box. And the majority of them all weren't all that great titles, but they were all $9.99 each. And they had green stickers on them, and it was green sticker day, so I thought I was going to get some kind of great discount on them. Apparently the green sticker day is just for just for fun. I don't know. They didn't give me any kind of discount on it. But uh, these, I think, one of them is Castlevania Mirror of Fate, and they're both sealed. Um, so I'll probably just uh, end up turning these around to, you know, get some money, either eBay or Craigslist or something, and... Uh, put that money back into our game collection. And maybe you guys should win them. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then they had a bunch of these Project X Zones, which wasn't even in the the little app that I use, that, uh, the pricing guide or whatever. So I didn't really know how to price it. I had to go to eBay. And I hate searching for eBay while I'm in the store at Goodwill. But they had a bunch of them. And then they had one limited edition. So I got the limited edition one because it comes with a, a poster and some other stuff, I believe. So, um, a we'll, live? He said live. Did I? I don't yeah. know. Um, so anyway, we're going to be putting those up probably on Craigslist or eBay. Or if you're watching this and you want these really bad and you want to trade us. Um, and yeah, I, I have a 3DS. Um, but the, like if you look at the ratings for them, this one, this one is teen and this, this one is, mo is 17 and up. Yeah, 17 and up. I can't play and You're 9, so you got a ways to go, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I'm turning 10 and hey, it's Meta Man. There you go. Um, so anyway, these, you know... Not something we're probably going to play here. Um, Wait, this, this is like I, a bunch of games put together. Like, see, there's Meta Man, and then, like, there's one dude right there from another game. Yeah. So these aren't something that we're going to play in the immediate future. Um, and I think that, you know, spending 10 bucks each on them for sealed copies of these games um, will probably... And Castle Castlevanias usually go pretty good on uh, just the intellectual property alone. So I think that we'll probably be able to turn them around and get some something valuable that'll add to our collection. And we saved them from a goodwill, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, so the only other thing I wanted to say, I guess here's you know my rant for the week is that I don't some of these guys price stuff really weird in in stores. You know, I'll go in one goodwill. I'll go in. Let's just take one goodwill. I'll go in there and I'll find you know Game Boy games like on the back shelf for ninety nine cents or a dollar ninety nine or or random games. And then sometimes they'll that same store will put stickers on something that's like you know way more valuable than it actually is. You know the, that same game a couple weeks later will be fifteen bucks in the window. What? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And I see that a lot. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it's different guys pricing it or different guys working the store or what. But it, it can be a little frustrating. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. So and that's probably the same for these. You know. Um, the guy didn't know what he was doing and put him in the window or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, do you have anything you wanted to talk um, about? I haven't had breakfast yet. No, you need to get breakfast. Yes, I do. And I gotta work out. Yes, you do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta drive long drive back this weekend. Yep. So, and, uh, and item of the day, Dad's strawberry drink. Yeah, we started putting. Uh, if, you, if you don't know the food. We drink a lot of water around here, so I'll, we'll drink like a, I'll drink like a gallon of distilled water just while I'm at work, usually throughout the day. But uh, we cut up lime or, or berries or something like that. Yeah. Put it in your water. It's really good. Healthy. Yep, it's very healthy and it tastes good. And you can, you know, make a couple different, couple different cups just with those, you know, those fruit or berries or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're big, we're real big in the hell. I guess we never really talked about that, have we? No. 
No. No. Uh, we're real big into health and working out and stuff like that. My uh, my wife's a fitness instructor, um, so yeah. we're we're real big into the healthy kids. Kids are big into healthy mm -hmm. stuff. There's a Sean T program that we we made a deal with him. If he worked out to the very end of the program, we'd buy him either you know some cool console or game or something. Mm -hmm. But he says he wants a new crab cage, huh? Mm -hmm. For his hermit crabs. Yeah, I have a hermit crab oasis. Yep. So. Here, edit edit this part out, and I'm gonna show him oasis. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we're back i just wanted to show you oasis that's his hermit crab yep got it at myrtle beach was it last yep. year yeah now you're gonna get another one this year huh yeah i'm gonna name it kiwi Kiwi. Yeah, Kiwi. You want to say hi to everybody? Come say hi. Here comes um, Skeleton Come here. Big Sadie. Come here, Big Sadie. Say hi. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was Big Sadie, and her, she loves playing dress up. Yep. Uh, she loves skeletons. All right, so is that it? Mm, yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe, like, Make it a favorite. Uh, yeah. What else? Add, um, and if you actually like make videos for your channel, like you can you can add it to a playlist. Yep, there you go. I, and uh, we have a Facebook page also that we try and post stuff. Um, we're not very consistent with the Facebook page. We got to get a little bit better. Yeah. Hard with schoolwork and all that stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But my my first classes are almost over, and I'm gonna start. I'm mm -hmm. only gonna take one class. Uh, I think in the next eight weeks, so that'll make it a little bit easier. So yeah. anyway, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.